I'm so happy to be here today, and I'm so happy to be spending the next hour with you all uh, doing a couple things. One, talking about some of the four big factors that I hear students voicing as far as creating change on their campus for trans inclusion. It's not going to be an overall view of the trans community and all the social and systemic issues impacting the community. We're going to be focusing on just the campus and what I hear students asking for. And I travel all around the nation doing this work, and I take this work very seriously, and I'm very uh, humbled that I can be one voice to try to help in creating change so that all the students on these campuses can prosper and move on to be um, the adult that they want to be. So when I go to colleges and I sit with the GSAs or QSAs and, and the students, here's the big four that they bring up when looking at trans inclusion on campus. And again, this is not everything. That's why we do the trains with the faculty and staff to really get in deeper. But the big four that I hear from students, if you're just looking at the campus environment and not outside of it, is number one, having documents and records and student IDs that reflect the student's name, not their legal name. So the name they want to go by, not the name that was given to them that's on their birth certificate. Number two, being able to figure out how the heck, especially if you're looking at transitioning, if you're someone like myself that are seeking either hormone therapy or medical treatments, being able to figure out, one, how the heck to afford that, and two, who to go to. Three, figuring out how to handle family. For some students, coming to the campus is the place to come out. All right. It's a place for identity to develop and to feel safe, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're out to their family. So then how do we navigate that and how do we find support here on campus while we're trying to figure out our family? And then the last one that we'll talk about, and again, this is a really big one, are restrooms and locker rooms. Having safe facilities to go to where you don't feel like your identity is going to be questioned, where you can just use a restroom like anybody else in this world and then go on with your day. All right, so these are the things that we'll talk about today.